I've got some content for today, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm pregnant. <laughs> Are you okay? I don't really know. Basically, you may or may not remember when I was complaining about my left arm swelling up and I was getting pain like up here. And I also had like bruises forming or things that looked like bruises forming on my arm. I said I was gonna go to the doctor for it. I thought it was nothing. I thought my circulation was just bad. Went to the radiologist on Tuesday and you know, he's rolling this thing all around my chest and he goes, are you experiencing any shortness of breath at all? And I'm like, no. And he's like, is, is that your mum in the waiting room? And I was like, yeah. And he, he stood up and he was like, okay, you have a blood clot in your chest. I don't want to scare you, but we're probably going to have to send you to emergency. I'm going to go get your mum and get a GP. Stay here. And I was like, what the fuck? Okay, fine. So I'm lying, like half naked on this thing, because they were doing an ultrasound, so I had to take off like my clothes and stuff, and I was wearing this hospital gown in this all white room after just being told there's a blood clot in my chest. And he's like, H I'm having to go to the hospital. And I was just like, okay, what the fuck? So I wait in there for like two minutes and then I'm like, I can't do this. I'm like, I'm standing up and I'm going into the hallway. I go into the hallway and the GP's there and he's like, oh, hello. And I said, hi, I don't want to stay in that room. It's scaring me. So he was like, okay. Then GP comes in, radiologist comes in, mum comes in. My mum's face is like gray. <laughs> um, I almost fainted as I started talking about it. Had to go to emergency. Essentially, I have a blood clot in my pulmonary artery. I have a blood clot in the artery that connects my heart and my lungs, which is why it is so serious. Because <laughs> I could potentially have a heart attack at kind of any moment, which is no bueno. So that's why they were all freaking out. I was there for like seven hours while they did a bunch of tests on me. The main thing they wanted to find out was why the fuck it happened. They have no idea. My bloods are perfectly normal. There's nothing... I had to do a CT scan, which is why I had to be put on an IV thing. For the next week, I'll be taking 20 milligrams of this blood thinner stuff a day. So 10 milligrams in the morning, 10, 10 milligrams at night, which is quite a lot. And then I'll be taking 10 milligrams a day for three months after that, I think. Do the thinners feel like anything? At the moment, no, I haven't. The only thing I did realize was... I assume this is because of the blood thinners. The other day when they put they put an IV in me, um, I mean, I've still got like a band-aid on there. It was here. I took the band-aid off there. But yesterday, so I was at the hospital on Tuesday. Yesterday, this, the spot where they put the IV in was still bleeding. And I, f I think that's probably because of the blood thinners. Um, can't see. We... <laughs> You see that tiny dot? That's where they put the IV in. The reason I, why I have two is because <laughs> he tried to put the IV in this vein and then he missed. So this was blood and then this was IV. His, he literally, like before he did it, he was like, don't worry, like, I always get it first try. You have nothing to worry about with me. I'm a pro first try always. And then... <laughs> And then he did it and he missed and I was like, dude, oh my god. And it's not like a it's not like a blood test where it just pricks you. When someone's trying to put an IV in you, oh god, it hurt. It hurts, man. Oh god, thank you about it, makes me uh so the CT scan they put in this glowy liquid into my blood and it made all my vessels light up on the CT scan. And when they put me through this donut that scanned me, it made it feel like I pissed myself because it like makes all your blood vessels really warm and because you have a bunch of blood vessels like near your genitals it makes you feel like you peed which is really cool <laughs> so yeah basically i just got really unlucky so now the next thing is these blood thinners which can be pretty intense sometimes basically excessive bleeding is the main thing obviously uh, internal bleeding. I will bruise super easily, so if I like gently knock myself on something, I will likely get a bruise from that. If I f have like a pretty bad fall, I have to go straight to emergency. I could get blood in my piss, 
There was a bunch of side effects, there's so many. What do you have to do now? I just have to be on the meds. And they also said I shouldn't put my arms above my head because it causes, I don't know, some vein. They were using all these terms to constrict, so I shouldn't go wee. <laughs> You know what's really unfortunate? I can't get pregnant on this blood thinning stuff. I was planning on having a baby, so I'm pretty upset. I think they were especially, like, confused about it because I'm so young. Like, this kind of shit... <laughs> this kind of shit happens to, like, 70-year-olds. Not otherwise pretty healthy 19-year-olds. So, they wanted to investigate it quite a bit. Because they were like, why the fuck are you having blood clots? <laughs> Average speedrunner health, yeah. Bell is actually a 70 year old guy with a very advanced AI filter. Yeah, I've said this before. <laughs> My dad was telling me about a friend of his who had, was, had a heart attack at like 12 a.m. He didn't wake anybody up because he didn't want to be rude, so he just like had a heart attack. Because <laughs> he thought it would just pass. He said, don't do that. <laughs> If I have a heart attack on stream, I want you to clip it and I want you to post it on LSF. Oh fuck, it's against TOS. No. <laughs> I'll have to move to kick. Do they allow heart attacks on kick? Probably. I will say the nurse that took my blood test was really pretty. And I was, I was being very funny in the hospital. I was cracking jokes, I was making all the all the hospital people laugh. So I was just saying random shit because I was like trying to calm myself, I guess. I mean, this wasn't really a joke, but it was funny. <laughs> it was when the doctor and the radiologist and my mum were like standing over me while I was lying on this thing and they were talking about my blood clot. And then I said, excuse me, does that mean that I, c I have a computing project due this Friday? Does that mean I can get an extension? I didn't entirely mean for that to be a joke, but all of them laughed. <laughs> So that was funny. And then when she said to me, we're going to have to do a blood test. I didn't think they were going to have to do a blood test. And then she said, we're going to have to do a blood test. And I went, fuck, really loudly. <laughs> and she was like, I'm sorry, but I'm really good. You don't have to worry. <laughs> and I was like, it's fine. I just really don't like blood tests. It's also really awkward because like, like most of the time at the hospital, like I was like ass naked. And I was like, dude, I like my ass is out. Can I get some coverage, please? <laughs> Oh yeah, I also made a joke. When the doctor was telling me on the blood thinners I can't get pregnant, I went, damn, what a shame. <laughs> I was just being so silly. <laughs> I am just the class clown. And the doctor, like, <laughs> he made such a big deal out of it. He was like, you're not pregnant, are you? And I was like, no. He was like, you're not, no sexual activity recently. I was like, no, dude, I don't have a baby in me. Like, it's okay. <laughs> Dude, I don't even know if I should say this. It's just those intrusive thoughts, you know. I was like, wouldn't it be funny if I just started going... <laughs> Obviously, I would never do that, but I was like... <laughs> but I was like, what if I did that? <laughs> I'd scare the shit out of my mom.